individual. Like some people do go out there, they forget their wife totally. And you know, as a woman, even we are saying that woman can actually stay 40 years, it is not even easy for a woman to stay with that man for that kind of years. Let's tell ourselves the truth. All right, it is not easy for a woman to actually stay with a, without a guy, without a man, beside her for even five years. Come to talk of this 40 years that she is referring to. No man that it, it is really good for them. Okay. Hello guys. Hello, my Obunge people. My responsible people, my lovely people, my kind-hearted people, my amazing people. This is greetings from Bekwara First Lady TV. I greet you all to my returning subscriber. God bless you. And for those who are about to click in today, thank you so much. I promise you won't regret it because here is where we just, okay. And like today, I just woke up as for Facebook and I listened to one Ogbunge message so i just say let me play this message here and let's talk about it i will be sharing my opinion and you also are allowed to share your own opinion in the comment section okay all right so guys let's move into the gist thank you as you're about to watch till the end subscribe to my channel move me forward okay guys so this message i just this thing, I pray my internet to work on it. Actually, network is um, is disturbing. Okay, I just want to post it a little bit and to chip in my own part of this whole story. But I pray if I continue play because me when I list in all, I could not remember also. That's why I bring the video in so that when I'm talking, I'll be playing the video. So guys, I think I forgot something, but it's okay. Anyway, it's okay. It's not always. You know <laughs> so what i really want to talk about this she titled this video one man one wife is an insult to an african man you understand so i i kind of saying i said this message let me listen to it and when i was listening to it and i find out there is some things that this lady is trying to tell us okay is she said something like if a woman can actually stay like 40 years without having an affair without um as an you know that kind of language without being with a woman that with without being with a man i mean to say that there's no problem but a man cannot actually stay and she went ahead and said something like um she says something like, men, any man that can tell you that he is married to one woman and that he is not cheating, that that man is a liar. Oh my God. It's as if this lady has already know the, the heart of every man. <laughs> the way she spoke is as if she know the heart of every man, which bring me in. I want to say something concerning this. You can't possibly say that every man are the same. No. You can't possibly say that every man are the same. I disagree for that. You know why? Because there are some men who know what they want. Okay? And there are some men who are dogs out there that any 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 they want to see every other on that skit. All right? That for sure we know that men are men for cheat. Okay, but it is not in our place as a woman to just come publicly and say, yes, kudos to men that shit. I think this is what she's trying to bring in here. It's an insult to an African man to have one wife. Imagine this. So guys, I'm not going to say that I'm perfect. Okay, and I'm not going to say that 
what I'm saying is end of it. I'm giving you the permission, the chance for you to leave your own idea. What do you think about this? To leave your own comments, to leave your own comments. Yes, through that comment, I also know what you think about this whole, whole thing. And another aspect of it that I said kudos to her is the one she talked about the woman who who actually who are complaining how their men leave them and travel out yeah i really see to it that yes there are some men who are going out in a way that they are saying maybe i will spend three months four months and come back there are some men it is in so many is depend on individual right and there, there are some circumstances okay uh that before all this you understand so like now some men will leave their family in nigeria travel out of their country for better future all right and um it will be so bad that they will fall in, into some trials and maybe it is taking them a lot of time some people will end up being that i want to take a wife for me to get paper before i can work to bring uh, my wife into the country there are so many cases all right so she said a lady tell her that men are ganging up to accept that they should do dna test for every uh, marriage woman every children in nigeria like she said a woman said like, i didn't watch the video and i think she said the woman inbox her that um it's actually no good okay so I want to talk about this aspect of traveling there are so many differences be between those okay like i said before it's an individual like some people do go out there they forget their wife totally and you know as a woman even we are saying that woman can actually stay 40 years it is not even easy for a woman to stay with that man for that kind of years let's tell ourselves the truth all right it is not easy for a woman to actually stay with a, without a guy without a man beside her for even five years come to talk of this 40 years that she is referring to it, it, no one that is it, it, really good for them okay especially someone that grow in that way that didn't have that feeling that this that has never been in love okay it can be easy for such people like that but once you are when you once in love you once with your family you once with your husband and suddenly he went out and he's not coming back for crying out loud we are body is not firewood now uh -huh. so he said is now because of that a lot of men are now agree for dna test if a woman actually called this lady and tell her excuse me no video behind please if a woman actually call this lady true and tell her that they should stop the NS dead, I put it to that woman that she is guilty. And I agree, I totally agree with this, our sister, that if you are into a relationship or a marriage that such things happen, your husband walk away and he's not coming back, instead of you to stay in the man house and cheat, I advise the woman, like she said, I support her perfectly. I advise the woman to tell the man that this marriage is over. Yes, that is more better enough for a man to just stay, for a woman to stay in the name of that marriage and then go out, carry baby, come into the family. That is so unfair. Okay, so like I said before, moving out of nigeria when some men used to leave their family some is the pressure from the family from the wife let me advise let me use this medium to advise women out there those of you that got married to your husband you see your friend driving driving in a big jeep you want to drive that big jeep you keep pressurizing your husband you want to be like this honey build this house honey see this my friend everybody in our street have built a house everybody in our street has a house on their own they, they are living well and then you keep pressurizing your husband go out there be a man and you will not give your husband the respect he needed from you again all because you want him to provide what his hand cannot lay on today these are the consequences of some women 
falling into wrong hands, falling into adultery, falling into fornication today because they have already used their hand, push their husband, go out there, make money so that we can live like our neighbors are living. I see in so many cases. I want to warn you viewing my video. My lady, if you live with a husband and he can be able to feed you and then you have house on your own, don't you think that living happily with that man and keep on praying and you also work hard as a woman support your husband is better than you pushing that your husband out and tell him go out there and make a good living for us then the man suddenly go there there is no option for him maybe the option say marry another woman marry a woman before you can get paper and if they a man eventually take another woman then you as a woman will carry a, a microphone in nigeria and begin to sing my husband abandoned me he do this he do that the course is from you as a woman i put it for you that kind of woman that pressurizing your husband to give you what you know very well that he, he cannot capable of giving you and you said you need it and you force that your husband to do what he not supposed to do all because you want him to provide your need I am advising you as a lady, stop that. So let's tell ourselves, this lady, it is not what she is saying, but I chip in my own. Why? Because I'm seeing in so many cases, why all this DNA test, why carrying another man picking to give another man. I'm seeing in so many cases that this is the result of it. I want to live a, 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 a flashing life. I want to live big. I want to be like my other uh, friends, they are. This is the result of it. So my people, I think this very video, I'm going to do it tomorrow because I don't always like my video to be too long due to my network. So I will still bring part two of this message to tomorrow because this message is actually around 14 minutes and each part of it, I will be chipping in my own side of the story, like what I feel about it. Like I said, my dear fans out there like i said my dear follower like i said my wonderful people you can leave your own comment tell me what you feel about this okay is it really good for a married woman to be pressurizing her husband go out there and make money like your friends some they will not even give their husband food again even that night food now nah, that their husband will that they will be crying go and meet another man and they will they will, they will keep it away from their husband because they think that this is the way i can make him do what he want to do woman let us wise up let us value what we have okay so all this thing all this problem around i think the fault is from us the woman sometime okay now if a lady cry out for this our sister and tell her that um men should not uh, should not continue with this dna test the lady is guilty yes she is guilty by saying that so but for me that does not give any man right to cheat on his wife i'm not saying that it give a man right to cheat like she said uh, it's an insult it's an, an insult for african man to marry one woman i disagree with that aspect yeah that is the aspect i disagree with it okay guys so this is here we'll end today tomorrow i will come again with another video like your bequara first lady gladly said keep on viewing me check my update and if you have any video idea you want me to do yes i will gladly do it with happiness because this is what i am enjoying doing being happy doing thank you guys see you tomorrow see you next tomorrow see you on my next video my lovely people see you see you bye love you all